Well, we're going to shoot a video in a day, something I personally have never done. But we're going to do it from, from coming up with the questions, doing an interview, actually two interviews. We're going to write the script. We're going to edit the video. We're going to post it to YouTube. And we're going to get all of this done before 6 p.m. And it's already 9.35. So that's a challenge already. But I've had my coffee, so I think we're ready to go. Our story is about a Virginia Tech student who's doing something extraordinary with grant money that she received. What she's doing is she's created a garden that's actually serving a food pantry that's serving uh, poor families in a, in a neighborhood of Christianburg, Virginia. I'm a PR guy and I've always been on the other side of the news. I haven't actually been on the reporter side of the news, so this is new for me. But it is a little bit exciting, although it's a little nerve-wracking considering I've got to write a story that's not just writing a press release, but actually writing the story. So we'll see how it goes. Now I'm shooting B-roll at the church where my interview with the Virginia Tech student will take place. She won't be getting here until about 11.15. I came early so I'd have plenty of time to shoot B-roll inside the food pantry. As I shoot some B-roll in the garden area, Nina arrives. And back inside, we set up for the interview. We were really happy to find out that she had on the Virginia Tech t-shirt under her sweatshirt. She's a great interview, and I feel good as I get what I need. Say and spell your name for me. Okay, my name is Nina Miller. The first sound bite is accomplished, and so far, everybody's happy. Uh, thank you. Be in touch. Lunch, a good thing. Don't like to skip lunch. Keeps me energized. Then it's on to roughing out the script. But all too soon, it's time for my next step. I've got to pack up and leave for my 3 p.m. interview. This one with the CEO of the Virginia Tech Foundation. The occasion calls for a tie. Waiting for the interview. I'm starting to worry about time. But this part turned out to be easy. John Dooley lived up to his reputation of giving perfect sound bites. Back in the office, I move into the editing bay. Time to record my voiceover into a microphone plugged into a computer. No need for a sound room. Though it doesn't look like much after being buried under nearly two feet of snow. It is 544 and we've done our interviews, we've done our, I've recorded the voiceover, written the script. Now we're just putting the finishing touches on it and I think we're going to be done in just a few more minutes. I'm really intent on beating the clock. No matter that this is the first time I've laid eyes on Adobe Premiere Elements video editing software, We got the student to email us a couple of photos of the garden from the summer, so we pulled those in too. Okay, we're done. It's, uh, as you can see, a little dark outside, so it took a little longer than we anticipated. But we didn't get done by 6, but it's about 7.45 right now. And it's uploading to YouTube, and in a few minutes I'll be able to share the link to my very first complete news video.